What's good, everybody? Greg Hickman here. And in this video, I want to break down how I use Notion, the Notion app specifically to manage my work week, manage my day as I continue to grow my business, Alt Agency, which is at altagency.com. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. All right, guys. So here's the deal. Uh, I don't know how you manage your week. I love and really dive into all of the YouTube videos where people break down how they sort of stay on top of all of their tasks. And I have to say, I've been a little bit of a snob when it comes to project management tools. I've used them all. If you ask my team, they will say that it's really been like the bane of their existence because I love technology. So I will see a new tool and I'll sign up for it. I'll make our entire team move to it. And then I'll realize why I don't like it. And then I'll stop. So much so that for a very long time and so sort of a little bit now, I would just operate using sticky notes and sort of like a Kanban board uh, until I actually found and fell in love with the bullet journal. Um, and once I was able to take the bullet journal and apply it to Notion, it sort of unlocked the kind of combination of having something that is analog like a notebook, but also digital that can go anywhere with me and the team can see what's going on. Uh, when I moved it to Notion. But if you're in a situation where you've tried all the project management tools uh, and you have done the to-do list, you've used all the, the high performance planners and the, all the things, and it still hasn't worked, maybe this will work for you, if at all uh, possible. And at the very least, maybe you'll find a, a little nugget in here on how I actually plan my weeks that you can adopt and be more productive and more efficient. So without further ado, um, really quick, I just want to address the tools that I have tried, um, and many of them have actually evolved since I started using them, but it's obviously a very slippery slope when you uh, jump back and forth from tools. So we've used Trello, we've used Teamwork, we've used Rike, we've used Basecamp, we've used um, everything in Airtable as well. That was kind of one of the last ones until we came to Notion, and I'm actually probably missing a few in there, but... Then we came to Notion. So what I want to do is I want to break down on paper how I was structuring the management of my days and weeks in a notebook because the thing that I love about Notion is it feels a lot like paper because I can drag things, I can move things around. And so I was able to take a blank canvas in Notion and make it feel like what I would normally write in my notebook, if that makes sense. So let's jump in. Um, I want to just sketch out what my notebook pages actually looked like. And if we have a notebook, I would always open up uh, the notebook so that this line down the middle is the spine and obviously the left page and the right page. Now, what I would do is I would then grab another color here. I would then divide the left page up into a bunch of different columns or blocks. And I would do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, and then I do Saturday and Sunday. Then I would come over to the right page. And this is where I would actually break things down uh, in a couple different sections. Here I'd write out my big three tasks for the week. One, two, and three. These are the three things that I, like if I finished those three things this week, the week is a, is a success. And I have actually worked on the tasks and activities that will move our business forward. The other section is targets. And we have, you know, three to five KPIs that we're trying to hit each and every quarter. And so on this page, I would literally every week rewrite my core targets for the business. So every time I was looking at my notebook, and this was really helpful, I was able to be reminded of our targets, which helped me look at all of the tasks on the paper and look at the tasks in a way where I can run them through the filter of if I'm working on this, is this going to get me to one of these targets? If no, I should probably be questioning if it's something that I should even be doing. So just wanted to put that in there. Now, um, below that is really where I have all of the to-do lists, essentially, that I want to get done for the week. Now. In my early days, I would just sort of set up a to-do and I just have all the to-dos you know, listed here. 
Um, but I realize there's two different types of tasks. And so I compartmentalize my week based on uh, project tasks. And then what I call the whirlwind. So the whirlwind are things that have to get done anyway. Um, record a new podcast, um, you know, write the new email, meet with my team, have these meetings, whatever those things, like they're going to happen regardless. And they've sort of become a piece of how you operate each and every week. That's a whirlwind task. But when we meet as a team every quarter and we set these goals, we set these targets up here, coming out of that planning session, there are projects and there are tasks associated to those projects that will allow us to actually hit those goals. And those tasks are the type of things that I want to be making time for because those are the things that allow us to hit the goals. They're not whirlwind, so I need to make time and block time for these important tasks that are gonna drive the business forward to hit, hit those KPIs. So what we do is we basically have a task list that are all of my tasks that week that are associated to the key targets. So if you had to look at it, like they kind of carry a little bit more weight, if you will. The next step that I do is I look at my, my work week and I know that on certain days I have a certain amount of bandwidth. Um, so I look at on Mondays, Mondays sort of have a theme for me. We'll use pink here. And that is team. So I have most of my team meetings on Monday. So the amount of availability that I have to work on big projects isn't that much. So I'll probably take a few items from my whirlwind and move them to my Monday because I can get them done inside of that window of time. But Tuesday, things start to op open up. So then when I look at my Tuesday, I might take these two and now Tuesday has a big block of time for those two tasks. And I really then just plan out my whole week looking at my calendar, pick a couple other colors here. You know, these tasks are this color. Maybe those two happen on that day. Um, maybe there's a one task that happens on, uh, on Friday. That's a big one and a meaty one. And then maybe there's another one that is uh, purple here. And that is, you know, goes into Thursday. So I'm here kind of brain dumping all of my main project tasks for the week and my whirlwind. And I'm really just moving them over to a specific day based on where I know I'm going to have time and also to optimize around my energy. So that's how I was using the bullet journal. So Hopefully that makes sense. So for me, when I found Notion, I realized that I wanted to mimic um, the bullet journal layout. And so I want to take you into quick, a high level view of my current week and then really the template that I use uh, each and every week to manage it. So let's jump into the computer. So this is my week. Every single week, uh, I kind of label the week and you'll see the page looks sort of similar. I have my big three things that I want to work on this week right up here on the left. And then I have our quarterly targets um, up here on the right. And then I have it all laid out where I have my big three and then any other ancillary to do's that happen uh, below that. Then I have some things that I want to keep on my radar. Uh, like someone on our team is going on vacation. There's this other thing that I've been working on and I want to do. Uh, I'm reading this book called Advice Trap and I've actually read it every day this week. So I keep track of uh, little things like that that I'm doing. And then you'll see down here uh, the quarterly project tasks. Um, these are related to specific initiatives and then there's whirlwind tasks. Now these, I'm not going super deep into Notion. Um, I'll link up to a couple people that I follow. Um, on YouTube that have helped me get inspired by uh, how they use Notion. Um, but these are all, uh, pull, these little tasks here are all pulling from a, a master database that lives somewhere else. And that's really cool, uh, cool feature of Notion is that you can have 
pages that have relational embedded databases from somewhere else. So really our team has a master task database. And what is happening on this page is there are filters and these filters allow me to sort the tasks that are assigned to me that are tied to a project and within a specific date range. So these are the ones that show up for me there. Same with the whirlwind. It's a, a task. Whirlwind is the type of task. So it's not associated to a project. It's just associated to whirlwind and it's filter is set for that week's dates um, and anything assigned to me. If Lisa on our team opens up her dashboard, which she chooses to have a slightly different layout, she will um, still see her tasks because it'll be filtered for that week and any tasks associated to her. So what I want to hop into here is um, really looking at the, the, the template and I'll kind of walk you through how I set it up. So each and every week, I have a master dashboard and I have a weekly agenda and I go in here and set up the new week. So I'll come in here and, you know, this week was October, I believe it was five through, and I do Monday through Sunday, October five through 11. And then I come in here and choose that date range. So we would say five end date and choose the 11th. And then I would just come in. And so obviously I'll have written this out beforehand and I'll type in my, you know, thing number one that I want to get done, you know, thing number two, et cetera. And then my quarterly targets, you know, whatever your KPIs are, you could look at. Then I come in and I would say, hey, is there anything that I need to keep on my radar? You know, do we have a client intensive? Maybe I'm going on vacation. Maybe there's a you know dentist appointment. Um, I use this to manage my personal too. Um, someone's on vacation. Then if I'm reading a book, I would, you know, write the name of the book, the thing that I want to make sure that I'm doing every day. I'm still, uh, I'm still testing and playing with how, different ways to do this. Um, and then I have my, uh, my quarterly projects. And like I said, my whirlwind. And so to sort, I would just come in and filter and look, it says, uh, any tasks where, contains my name. It does not include my whirlwind. And I'd say the exact date is the 5th through the 11th. And it'll automatically sort. And you'll see those tasks just change. And I do the same thing with the whirlwind. And now it says, now it contains the whirlwind. I do the same dates. And I would choose the 5th through the 11th. And then that sorts. And now I have my whirlwind tasks. So now I have all of the tasks that I need to get at. Now, um, I'm still fairly new to Notion and learning all the cool things. Some people might tell you to drag this into these spots. Um, that seems to have messed up some of our databases. So if you're a Notion ninja, comment below. Uh, I'd love to know how you would do this. But for me, it's just easy to look at these and then say, okay, well, where am I going to do this? Um, I know that every Monday I have a lot of team meetings. So that's sort of one of my big three is to meet with my team. I know on every Tuesday, I have a coaching call with one of our uh, groups of clients. On Thursday, I have another coaching call. So I quickly come in and I come to the key days and I add like the big things that are already on that day. Because if I have like a, a 60 or 90 minute coaching call that day, I'm not going to add on three other big things because a lot of my, my time is going to be spent on that. And that's a significant amount of time. So I'll try not to achieve as much on that day because, or from my project list because I already have other things allotted. So if I have team meetings, um, I'll come down and look at my you know, whirlwind task and I might uh, fill that in over on here. So these are typically you know, whirlwind tasks. I would do that over underneath on there. But I'd say, hey, I have my team meetings um, and then I'm going to work on uh, you know, I was working on some updates and thoughts for our academy program. So I basically look at this project over here and I'm going to say, hey, I'm going to be doing that task this day or on Monday afternoon. Then I can come over here and say, OK, well, um, because how many meetings I have, I might not even be able to get more time in for like anything that's big. So I'll just delete that. And I might have a couple other, you know, call to schedule dentist. Something like that or you know, haircut, what have you. 
So that's how I kind of manage it. I'm using the tasks over here to then kind of assign a specific day. Uh, then I'd come over to Tuesday and say, hey, like, well, we're working on a new welcome kit. I don't think that's going to take me very long. So welcome kit letter. Uh, and then I'm also going to, you know, brainstorm new, you know, lead magnets. That's something I'm going to be working on. Fix that typo. So that's really how I do it. And then I move my way through each and every day and make sure that I'm allotting time uh, for all of the tasks. And if I fill up the whole thing and I still have tasks that are open, I then really need to kind of question the priority of what those are and maybe change the deadline or say, hey, I'm not going to be able to get to that this week. Or if it's super important and I have a really busy week, I might throw in something on a Saturday morning. But for my personal uh, life, like when I look at this, like I'm saying, hey, I'm going mountain biking with John uh, on Saturday. Then I might throw in here that we have, you know, my son has uh, swim school Saturday at 9 a.m. He also has a ski school at 9.30 a.m. on Sunday. So I would do kind of the big events that are happening on the weekend. If maybe we're going out to dinner, um, you know, for example, at the recording of this, you know, tomorrow is uh, taking Sarah, my wife, uh, to dinner for her B-Day. So like that's a that's going to be a core thing that obviously is important to me. That's a big three because I'm leaving work early. I'm going to get some things prepared, and then we're going to drop the kids off to get a babysitter, and then we're going to go uh, have a good a good evening to celebrate her birthday. So because I'm leaving work early, because there's some prep, because there's some of those things like that is a that has to happen on Friday. So I can't have projects run long. I'm going to intentionally design my Friday so that I can take off early to do those things. So when I see the whole week here on the right side, the things that I need to get done and want to get done, I can really assign them to uh, different and appropriate spots uh, on the calendar. So that's how I use, that's how I use Notion um, to manage my week and manage my day. I hope you found this useful. Again, if you're a Notion ninja, uh, I'm still learning. Uh, again, I'm linking up to the people that I've followed below in the comments section. I'd love to hear how you manage your week. What tool are you using? How has it been going for you? Is Notion something you're liking? Is it something that you now might want to try? I'd love to know. Comment below and let me know. Now, if you're watching this and you're an agency owner and you're like, how do I start to make the most of my days and my weeks so that I have more time to work on my business? Um, we'd love to chat with you as well. I actually put together a free training below this video. You can learn the three steps that we took to really kind of systematize and streamline and grow our business um, to six figures a month. Uh, and this is just one little piece of it is knowing how to manage your time. But in that training, I'm going to show you kind of the other three core things that we did to really transform our agency so that we were able to serve more clients with less effort. Hope you find that well. We'll catch you in the next video.